Now, I'm not sure if that's something new. Uh, Pierre, maybe you can tell us about it. You've been involved in many flight test campaigns in the past. Um, have ca flight test campaigns evolved over time? Yeah, the, the striking element of the test program of the A350 is the fact that the number two is dedicated to cabin and to passenger comfort. This is the first time in, in, in my Airbus life that I have seen so early in the test program uh, an, an airplane dedicated to cabin, in-flight entertainment systems, uh, comfort for passengers. In the old time, such a test was taking uh, maybe two months before the entry into service. Associated with that delay, a lot of complaint for, from passengers coming on. And essentially, uh, the big difficulties of the entry into service, for instance, of A320 and even A340, was essentially complaint from the passengers, not of the technical crew. So it is very good, and I congratulate Airbus to have, to have decided to put an aircraft, aircraft number two, so early in the test period in order to, to concentrate also on, on, on the passengers uh, aspect. And of course, Pierre, we also have the, the aircraft uh, zero test means of which the, uh, the, the cabin zero, which is, is effectu effectively a cabin situated on the ground where we can perform a virtual first flight with passengers, with crew, to simulate the cabin experience uh, in advance of first flight even. So, so uh, we get a good idea of how the cabin is going to perform well, uh, well in advance of certification and entry into service. So I just want to draw you, excuse me, I'm yeah, sorry. Please, I just want to draw your attention to the images that we're seeing right now. They're actually live images coming in from our Chase aircraft. You could think that they were filmed or fabricated, but in fact, they're coming in live and they're pretty amazing. It is normal that the landing gear is out, for sure. Most probably, uh, Frank, they have already upgraded the control law. Uh, I, I think that will that will probably occur once they uh, they clean the aircraft up. So I think their I plan is see. to look at the configuration changes yeah, early yeah. on, okay. the handling and the different configurations, and then once the aircraft is clean, they will then, then start to do the okay. aeroelastic work and the uh, and the flight control law. Uh, so this is an incremental process, anyway. Always with the telemetry giving the green light for the pilot to upgrade uh, and finally to, to obtain an aircraft which is in normal low with all the goodies uh, associated with the normal low, with the protection and so on, which is a brand of Airbus, of, of all Airbus fly-by-wire airplane. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, it Can well, it works. Yeah, okay. Great. Um, the crew is uh, actually commenting uh, uh, on their own. Speed. So maybe we listen to Chester. Disconnect. Uh, disconnected uh, the first. Okay. Clear only. Yep. Speed. Okay. Okay. As we see, the the gear is still out. Uh, they are flying about 170 knots. And Guy Magra is doing some basic checks. Uh, you uh, start off with a new airplane. He's uh, trying uh, the behavior of the airplane. Uh, Turning okay. right, turning left, doing right. some uh, small Thanks. radar inputs. Coming back to the left, pitch. Okay, we can put to the lowest uh, flag level of the block, please, to avoid the alert. Okay. And okay, uh, they are in the middle right. of no, uh, some okay. no problem uh, hard work program. Speed. Okay, so speed targeting 195, is that correct? That's correct. Maximum, yeah. Positive. Maximum, yeah, perhaps you want to be just slightly. Yeah, maybe 190. 190 to start with. Uh, no, go ahead, 350, accelerating 190 knots. So are you ready to okay, So now okay. we will see a very exciting uh, moment, uh, the, uh, the gear retraction. Gear retraction in 3, 2, 1, top. Yeah, that, that, that's very so uh, we see the sequence the of the gear retraction. It will take about uh, 14 to 15 seconds. Oh, and it good. looks, uh, everything is fine, we see a clean airplane flying. Yeah. Pascal, ready. Oh, 
Should we extend the landing gear now? Okay. Order. Ready, everybody? Yeah. Yes. Three, two, one. Stop. Stop. It's a thing. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. Frank, what is happening here? Okay, that's great to see that the landing gear is safely down. Once uh, once they've achieved the uh, the gear down and the flap configuration for final landing, they will leave uh, they will leave the flaps, the slats, the gear down uh, just for uh, for security's sake for this first flight, uh, for the rest of the flight, for the flyby, for the turn downwind, and for the final landing. You break American control break for the. You can hear the message. Clear the message on the platform. They'll just be preparing themselves for, for making that approach and landing. We're now just under 15 minutes away, hopefully, from their, from their flyby time. So they're probably being vectored around by the Toulouse uh, radar control. Oh, we've just seen uh, Jacques Rosé uh, join us on the, on the Welcome, podium Zach. here. Welcome, Jacques. Thank you for Jacques was uh, with Claude on the, uh, on the very first flight of the A380. So he has a, a lot of experience Hi. with uh, Airbus products and, uh, and of course, our, uh, our, our last generation of aircraft, the, uh, the A380. We were discussing, discussing about uh, problem with that we, you have experienced uh, during a uh, landing on a, on a first flight. I don't think that you did, but... No, in the, on, the, on the A380, we had a perfectly nominal uh, landing. Uh, the only... Uh, details which was not perfectly right was uh, the retection of the door of the main uh, landing gear. Mm -hmm. uh, the door was uh, closed but not locked. And for this reason, we could not uh, explore all the flight uh, envelope in terms of Mach number. But that was the only uh, lit very little uh, defect we had. Mm -hmm. And the landing was uh, extremely easy, extremely easy. Mm -hmm. And very close to what we experienced in the simulator. And according to what I heard about this flight, uh, the, the aircraft seems to behave very closely to what was already seen on the simulator based on the wind uh, tunnel uh, uh, data, mm -hmm. which are a little bit theoretical. So then we have to check in real flight that they are uh, consistent with the real physics of the aircraft. Mm -hmm. But uh, according to what I have learned from the beginning of the flight, we are very close to the pre predictions in terms of behavior, mm -hmm. and I am totally confident they will, they will enjoy a perfect landing. I'm totally confident as well, even though I don't have any reason to be confident or not confident. I trust your judgment. Jacques, do you remember those moments uh, upon landing, getting out of the A380, how you felt? Uh, in fact, we, we retracted the landing gear early in the flight, and we extended it rather uh, soon afterwards because of this failure on the, on the door I mentioned. And uh, for this reason, we, we spent a very um, large part of the flight with the landing gear extended, but once it has been extended, we did not want to retract it again. So we are happy it is extended, which is the case today, I think, I've heard, and uh, I don't think they will retract it again. No, once the uh, once the various elements are extended, the gear and the flaps and the uh, uh, and the slats, then they will remain extended for the rest of the flight. For sure. So we're now still watching some images. I believe these are live images of the A350. Flaps extended, as we can see. Oh, yes, with yeah, the yeah. droop of the ailerons. Apparently. With the droop of the ailerons. Mm -hmm. So that's normal that the, yeah. the gear is out then, yeah? Sure. Yes, sure, sure, yes. Sure. So what, what, what they are doing now, it seems that in this landing configuration, they are doing some input on the flight controls in order to see if there is any difficulty in terms of pilot-induced association and they say, congrats for your test flight today. We too are also live doing a flight over the U.S. today. That's pretty cool. Solar Impulse, can you tell us what that is, Frank? Well, that's, uh, that's been a project which has been going on for a little while, but it's very innovative. It's a solar-powered airplane. Uh, and for those of you that were at the Paris Air Show two years ago, uh, we had weather conditions not dissimilar to today, a little bit calmer, but with uh, a beautiful sunny sky and uh, Solar Impulse was flying around Paris on that particular occasion. So uh, it's great to, uh, to hear that they've, uh, they've heard our news today 
uh, and we wish them well in, the, in their plans to, to fly the, their aircraft on solar power alone around the world. We had another tweet that came in today as well um, from Orange FR 3 AK, must be a code term, um, asking what is the Chase aircraft for? We've already seen it, um, bringing us images. Can you expand? Well, we follow the aircraft fairly closely, obviously from, uh, from first takeoff. We want to make sure that nothing falls off the aircraft, the doors close, the gear goes up, everything works nominally, which it obviously has done. The Chase aircraft really is there if something occurs, for example, on Jacques' flight on the 380, they had an indication that a door was not correctly locked up. We get the chase aircraft can go around the outside, have a look, make sure uh, the, it sees that the door is up or down or, and can report back to the crew. So, the so crew in, that, in that case, Jacques, that was actually the first indication that you had, that there was an issue? In fact, in the cockpit, we had an indication that the door was not properly locked. Okay. But we asked the chase aircraft to, to, to fly around us and to watch physically the door mm -hmm. and it happened that the door was actually closed but okay. not locked so and was it was closed because of the hydraulic pressure in the jack closing the door but if we had increased the speed beyond a certain value the speed beyond a certain value of speed the uh, hydraulic power is depressurized so then the door would have slightly uh, be again open okay. which was not uh, desirable at high speed well, I hope that gives a good enough answer to Orange FR3 AK. Thank you for your tweet. <laughs> um, now, I've had a, a more time with Pierre and Frank, but Jacques, uh, we haven't seen you much. So can you tell us a bit more about yourself and how you got into the industry? I, I, start, I started my career as a, as a fighter pilot in the Air Force, in Mirage 3 at the time. Then I became a test pilot in the first in the military domain in the first years of my career of test pilot. And then I um, was uh, involved in certification of civilian transport aircraft as an authority pilot. And then I uh, went in Airbus in 1990 because plenty of things may turn wrong and uh, may lead to uh, shorten the flights, things like that. And being perfectly on time at takeoff and landing seems, uh, means that the aircraft is already in very good shape. Excellent. Of course, it's not over until it's over, and they'll be uh, they'll, as they're turning downwind. There, they'll be going through their uh, their final checks to make sure everything's uh, set up for their uh, final approach and uh, and landing. Frank, they will be landing on the same runway as uh, the takeoff. Yeah. Yes. So three, two left. Three, two left. Yes. And just as this morning during the takeoff, um, has the traffic been stopped around uh, Toulouse Airport? Yes, for, for, for the time being, until the aircraft is safely on the ground. The aircraft to taxi back because it will be positioned just here, mm -hmm. which is far away from the runway threshold. Now, I know that the A380 is equipped with ROPS, the runway uh, overrun protection system. Is the A350 as well? Yes, absolutely. It will come into service with that system uh, installed. That's for sure. It is basic now on all fly-by-wire airplanes, by the way. During the, the pattern they just did, they, fly, they, they flew very close to Toulouse center city. And in Toulouse, there are plenty of aviation enthusiasts, uh, people, so uh, I am sure they were watched by many pair of eyes. Oh, I believe, I believe so. I think most people in Toulouse and in the vicinity, are all, all yeah. eyes are on the A350 yeah. right now.